George Saitoti and his entourage took off from Nairobi early on Sunday morning for a flight to western Kenya. But in the hills just outside the city, the police helicopter crashed, incinerating everyone on board. Investigators still haven't worked out what happened, but people living close to the site said something seemed wrong just before it came down. At about 8.30, we had, we had a chopper just swing, trying to land. I thought, for me, I thought it was a mechanical problem. So what, after a while, I just, we just had a boom. So we had to rush and come to see what, what's up. So after coming to rescue, we thought, we thought it was just a simple thing, but it was so delicate. The fire was so big, so nothing we could have done. Debris from the wreckage was scattered across the forest. The Prime Minister, Raila Odinga, visited the site. It is really very, very terrible indeed. We have lost here the Minister for Internal Security, Honourable Grace Saitoti, Assistant Minister for Internal Security, Honourable Rua Ojode, some security officers and the crew, the, the pilots. In all, six people died. Most of the bodies were burned beyond recognition. George Saitoti's death leaves a significant gap in Kenyan politics. He was one of the most powerful political figures in this country as the Minister for Internal Security. But he was also one of the leading presidential candidates in elections due next year. The mathematics professor and former vice president kept a high profile as the government's face in its fight against Al-Shabaab militants in neighbouring Somalia. Along with the Prime Minister earlier this year, he visited the site of a Nairobi bomb attack blamed on Al-Shabaab. We will not tire of hunting for these people, Al-Shabaab, until we finish them. They have ruined their country, and now they have come here to ruin Kenya's economy. But Saitoti was also one of the leading presidential candidates, and the incumbent leader's preferred successor. His death is likely to leave a vacuum that his rivals will scramble to fill. Peter Grester, Al Jazeera, Nairobi.